this time we're finally making the ultimate Spider-Man No Way Home minifigure showcase. I was really just waiting for them to release the official Lizard minifigure and they finally did a couple months ago. So let's just get started. Now let's start things off with the Iron Spider. I mean, this this figure is pretty cool. I really just changed the head. Yeah, it is it is from a uh, past Spider-Man anime figure, I believe, from 2019-2020. Continuing with the Tom Holland Spider-Man, I pretty much just changed his arms. Uh, I believe they are from the Pro Surfer Series 17, something like that. For Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, I pretty much did the same thing, arms and legs. They are from the OG Spider-Man Homecoming minifigure. For his head, I used Anthony Porowski from the Queer Eye set. I've, I've used this little combo in the past. And for Tobey Maguire, same thing, arms and legs from Homecoming Spider-Man. I know this isn't as accurate. But I don't know, I just think it adds quite some little good details right there. And for his head, I used Peter Bankman from Ghostbusters. You guys will tell me if this is the best choice or if there are other options. Leave that in the comments down below. Next up, we got Wong. Uh, pretty much perfect minifigure. I really just changed his hair. I believe this hair has come a couple of times in uh, Black Panther minifigures. And I used that furry little collar piece from Craven the Hunter. Uh, I think that adds uh, much more detail and I think he looks much better. For Winter Doctor Strange, I used uh, the legs from Hermione CMF, Harry Potter CMF, and uh, the torso from Dustin from Stranger Things. And I always like to use that head and hair from the Infinity War Doctor Strange. I believe they're the most accurate that LEGO has ever made. Coming up next, we have MJ. Legs could be any black legs with some detail. Uh, torso, I used Joyce Byers from the same Stringer Things set. And head, let's just keep using official Legos MJ head. Uh, I, I don't find any flaws with it, to be honest. But for the hair, I prefer to use this one. It's from Lego Friends. Uh, I, I don't know, I just think this one best represents her hairstyle in the movie. For Ned, we're using these jeans. And for the jacket, we're gonna use Snake from The Simpsons alongside the arms of uh, Rex Danger Best from LEGO Movie 2 and the head and hair they're gonna be the official Net Leeds minifigure they uh, released back in 2019 of course you can also add that Doctor Strange cape for him we also had Betty Brand in this movie uh, regular you know dark blue legs with some detail uh, torso it's Grandma's sweater uh, head, let's use Wanda's Scarlet Witch head, and hair, let's use Captain Marvel's. Betty Brand joined the Daily Bugle in this movie, and what would the Daily Bugle be without J. Jonah Jameson? Uh, for him, let's just use his Nick Fury legs, torso is from adult Harry Potter, and head is from Admiral Wolf Gularen from the UCS Benator set, and uh, hat, let's just use Spider-Man Noir's hat. Uh, I believe this is a pretty cool little J. Jonah Jameson. The man in this suit, you know who it is, Happy Hogan. Uh, pretty common torso and head, let's just use uh, Craven the Hunter. And the uh, hair, we'll just use this black hair that has come in a couple figures. Right next, we have another man in suit. This time is Matt Murdock, Daredevil. For his torso, we're using Stanley Hudson from the Office Lego Idea set. Head, let's just keep using Hawkeye. I, I don't think they have made a better, more accurate head for him. Um, and just some little dark brown hair. That's it. Let's just give him a stick. And uh, I think he looks pretty nice. Aunt May is next. We're using the torso from Dr. Grace from the Avatar movie. Uh, head is from Hermione. I don't know. I, I just think this one quite resembles Aunt May actress. And the hair is going to be from Scarlet Witch. Oh, forgot we also had Flash Thompson on today's video. Uh, torso is from Ron Weasley. And we might as well add that hood piece. Head is from Dr. Wu from Jurassic World. 
and the hairpiece is from a uh, flashback Garmadon from the Lego Ninjago movie CMF. Now let's get into the villains of this movie. Let's start off with my man, the Green Goblin. I really just switched his arms from the Green Goblin minifigure from the Bridge Battle set. Uh, just to add a little bit of detail. Uh, and might as well add this neck piece from uh, Scorpion Stunt Striper. And I don't know, I just love this minifigure. It's one of my favorites of all time. 40 battle damaged Green Goblin, we're using the legs from Cersei from the Eternals movie. We'd be adding some accessories like this little pouch and this purple cloth piece. We could either use his first expression with the glasses and use this dark purple hood piece or we can use the regular expression with this hair piece from uh, Max Dennison I believe from the Hocus Pocus idea set. And I also thought we might take the chance to upgrade his glider, this is the one from the original set. Uh, and I mean, it's not bad, but we're mock builders, we have to upgrade this thing, so let's do it right now. And this is how it came up. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool little upgrade from the past one. Uh, this one is pretty nice. I added a little bit more details and I don't know, just um, I'm really happy with the end result of this one. Coming up next, Electro. Uh, legs are from Series 21 Bird Watcher. Just switched his arms to Barbara Gordon's from the Lego Batman movie and I, I thought it would be nice to use this little neck piece they're technically tentacles but if you look them from afar they, they do look like you know electricity power effects next villain is the lizard finally in Lego form I just changed his arms and tail from the Lego Triceratops costume guy from series 25 I believe and uh, for the head, we can go ahead and use the same head or we can change it to this one from Bosk minifigure from Star Wars. And just to add up some extra detail, we're using these Lego Demogorgon claws. I don't know, I just think they add up a little bit more to the character, but uh, yet again, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Next up, Eddie Brock, this little shirt from the Queer Eye set from the Bobby Bird minifigure. Uh, head is from Indiana Jones uh, and the little cap is from a hip-hop, you know, uh, rapper from the minifigure series from the old ones. Just thought I might as well add a little Bantam right there. I know that really didn't happen in the movie. But... Sandman, I really just changed his hair from Emperor Palpatine's, uh, the new one. And if you want some extra detail, might as well add that big sand hand from the set. And I think he looks pretty amazing like this. And the last but not least, we have Doc Ock. I just changed his hair to the one that uh, Green Goblin has in the set. And I just kind of made a little bit of a custom you know, claws for him. I think they just look much, much better than the ones Lego uses in the set. And that is pretty much it guys, this is how they look all together in the build, it, it, they look pretty nice, they, the, all these upgrades just make them stand out a lot more, and I think they just look much much better, it's, thank you so much for the support, I'll see you on the next one. Good.